Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I hope that you had a good week. I have had a really good week and it went by pretty quick. I was really busy this week with, you know, the drill, orthodontist appointments, dentist appointments, and all that kind of good stuff. So I have lots of good stuff to show you. I got the bag that I ordered from Safu in replace of the Celine bag and then I also got another bag that I am going to show you and I'm going to go ahead and do that right now because it's right here <laughs> and um, I'll show you the other one at the end but of course there's a story the day that I got the Celine luggage mini I, like I told you I was bugging everybody and Sheila was one of the people that I had texted and asked about you know what she thought about it was it too big all that and kind when of stuff we like were that. in new york she knew i was looking for a chanel bag one that i could use one that wasn't you know five thousand dollars and just kind of like a starter bag so when she got back to california she realized there was another what goes around comes around near her in la so when i was having my bag breakdown she is so sweet she went to the store and helped me pick out a Chanel bag and it came just the other day well actually it came on Tuesday and um, it came in this little dust bag because it probably it's an older one so they sent it in and this here dust it is. bag and it is beautiful and I could not be here, let me go ahead and snap it so you can see the full effect I really could not be any happier if I had bought a brand new one of course, I have never had a brand new one, but I am so excited about this one. It is just in the most perfect condition ever. I mean, you can not even tell anyone has ever used it. And it has the strap that can go long like that, or if I want to carry it like I'm used to, like that, I can do that. And Ryan, the guy I've been working with, I got him to send me some details. Okay, so I went and printed and this out because I did not want to forget anything that he said. But Ryan is who I worked with there, and he said that, and I just wrote him, I said, I'd love to have some details on the bag so that when I show it to you guys, I will know. And it's just fun to know. So he said, the round flat bag is an extremely rare style from the late 80s, early 90s, that Carl Lagerfeld's rendition of Coco's original quilted flat bag. Okay, so it's his rendition of her original flat bag. He updated the style with the rounded flap, gold tone hardware, and the logo closure in lieu of Coco Chanel's discreet reissue lock closure. The material is lambskin, and that was the one thing I didn't know. Let's see, it's the softest and most delicate of any skins used in Chanel bags. The bags are no longer made of lamb skin. You can only get them now in caviar leather and calf skin, which doesn't compare to the lamb. It says, so glad you love your purchase. Make sure you store the bag with the bubble wrap around the chain or pour the chain inside the bag because he said if the pressure is applied on this bag, it can, um, will leave a chain indention on the lamb skin. Ooh, glad he told me that, which I would probably, I don't know. I'm glad he told me that. So, right away, I was so impressed. Which Sheila had sent me pictures, you know, the inside and everything. I was so impressed with the size. I can fit, and I'll put pictures at the end. I can fit my full Rebecca Minkoff wallet on a chain in here and have room left for my sunglasses. I mean, it's just everything that I wanted. And it has like the little pockets in here. It has the pocket on the back. It is just perfect so I'm just so excited with this I mean this just kind of I don't know I don't know if it'll start my love affair with a Chanel handbag or if it will be enough for me but I'm just so glad that this is the way I started and um, I know prices are kind of a weird thing to discuss on here but I just if any of you are familiar with Chanel handbags the price of this was $26.50 which compared to other ones this was i think a deal i'm excited about it and it's just in such good condition i mean look at that it just looks brand new so i am just so excited about that and i'm going to put um their information down below because he's already <laughs> we've already been texting back and forth and he sent me some pictures of a beautiful yellow one a gold one 
um, an orange one. Gosh, a beautiful Hermes like tassel bag. And then the prices are really good. They're comparable to this one. And um, so if there's any of you out there that want to do like I do and just try just to see if you like it without spending, you know, $5,000 and you want a good size one, then I think this is perfect. And I'm just so excited. So that the is next thing it. I want to show you is the elephant in the room is <laughs> this red lipstick. I told you that, let's see, Jamie with Burberry was going to send me some more samples of Burberry lipsticks and stuff and the new bag. It's the new gift that she is giving. And this is the classic, I've got all her stuff that she sent me in here, in here. It's the classic trench color, you know, makeup bag. And it will be, I asked her what gloss and what nail polish, and she said it'll just be different ones in different bags. So there's no way of knowing. It'll be like a surprise. And then she sent me some other goodies to try. And I probably won't show you every single one because it might take too long. Um, and I don't think I have everything. Okay, so, um, but I wanted to show you at least my favorite things. And she sent me the trench powder in my color. And I do not have this on today because I have something else on that I wanted to tell you about. But this is my color. So if you are my shade of foundation, the trench powder in number eight. And it looks darker here. And it might be a little bit darker than what I have on because I was going for more of a classic kind of look today. And so I used something else that I'm going to show you but this is beautiful and it smells so good and so many people love this powder i've just heard nothing but good stuff and then she sent me this and when i looked it up to read about i think this might have been a limited edition it's like a highlighter and it's what i have on today instead of blush i put this on just for something on my cheeks without being too pink or any color and it's the golden radiance number two and it's like a highlighter bronzer type thing so that is, I've enjoyed using all of these. And then she sent me two blushes to try. And these blushes are so pigmented. Even this one that's lighter, I dabbed my brush in it yesterday and put it on. And it is just, I had to blend it out. It's very pigmented, so be careful. But this color is so pretty. I think I've heard Brianna talk about this one. It is Blossom Blush. And it is just gorgeous. See, today I could have used a little bit of that and not ruined the look, but it's just gorgeous. These blushes are, oh, they smell so good. And they smell, they don't smell like Chanel blushes. They have a totally different smell. It's more of a, it, you know what? It reminds me of a much lighter lush type smell, like the lush bath bombs and stuff like that. All, all the cats and Bridget have been just swarming around me all morning. Okay, and then this one is gorgeous. It is the Hydrangea Pink Blush. And it is just phenomenal. See, that would have probably clashed, but I could have gotten away with the other one. That one has that, just that fuchsia, purpley type undertone. So I love those, just loving the Burberry Burberry okay, Bur then blushes. she sent me this, which I have been loving. I have used this every day since I got it, and I love it. It is their, um, let's see, it's their liquid liner pen. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. It's in black, jet black, number one. And look at that wand. So it is perfect to get right down in the corner. And actually, this week, I've been doing even a thicker line than this. And I've been just kind of slanting it on its side like that. And then, you know, pulling it over, dragging it over my eyelid. And it's been doing perfect. No skipping. No drying out yet. Nothing. So, and the end hasn't. The end is still intact. So, love that. And you guys know how I feel about their brow. Now, I was thinking this morning when I was doing my brows with the Burberry pencil. And it's the slanted one. If you like a more precise eyebrow look, then the Dior Universal would be the one for you because with that one, you can get just, I mean, like teeny tiny little hair strokes. But this one is just kind of quicker and more of a subtle look. I mean, you can still, of course, get, you know, plenty of brows, but you know what I'm talking about. Okay, then 
let's see, I'll show you this gloss that she sent me, and I love it. It's the Natural Lip Glow in Pink Sweet Pea, and it is gorgeous, and it is about, it's, I was thinking, you know, it probably wouldn't be that pigmented, but it is. It's really, really pigmented, but it's still, see, it's, it's just like I like, it's like jello. It's still, it's pigmented, but it's still kind of a see-through color. And I'm going to swatch all of these lipsticks, so I'll just leave this on. But before, I need to let Bubba out because he is stomping around. So the around first one I'm going to show you is the one that I have on now, and it's number 17, Union Red. And I was thinking it was going to be a velvet, but it is a soft satin lipstick. And it's the testers, but that's fine with me. And it is beautiful. And this is what I have on. So I will swatch it right here. It goes on just really it's glossy it's a glossy satin it isn't drying at all I love the Burberry the I love the Burberry lipsticks I mean they are really nice they're some of my all-time favorite lipsticks the next one is and they're all different formulas this is the long wear lipstick lick lip velvet in fuchsia pink I don't know if I've tried this one goodness I wonder if this is, she told me she was going to send me a really pretty red velvet. I wonder if this is the one because it says fuchsia pink, but yeah, it is. Wow. I love that. That is gorgeous. Look at that. The dimension. It, it is pink. I'm glad I put it beside that red because now you can see that it is pink, but it is beautiful. I will wear this soon. That is, I love that color. Okay, and we'll put them back in their little cases because that way I can remember what formula they are. Okay, soft satin lipstick. Oh, okay, I'm gonna save this one to the end because I wanted to show you a combo. Okay, this one is Natural Lip Sheer. I wore this yesterday and I, I wore this yesterday and I will try to put a picture in right here of this. And here this is, because this is such a pretty, everyday, wearable, sheer color. And I don't think that is doing it justice, because it really does give you more color than that on your lips. So, that picture shows you of just this on my lips. Okay, and then this one is the Lip Mist Natural Sheer. And this one is Nude Peach. And it's really pretty. I think this is the first one I tried. This one has more color than that last one. It's beautiful. I mean, really pretty. This is a good, if you want a nude that's not too nude, this is a good one. Let's see how pretty it is. Okay, and then the last, oh, I got one more. Okay, this one is number 213, Field Rose. And this one is the Natural Sheer Lipstick. I don't know. Yes, I have tried it. <laughs> I love these. I've been, let's see, I'm going to try to put it on beside this just so you can compare all the, um, so that is all the shears and that is the field rows. So, and then the peach in the middle and then in the beginning is the pink uh, feather or heather. Is it pink feather or heather? Feather, pink. Okay, and then this is one of my favorite ones and I saw Beauty professor Rachel she had done a post on this and I wanted to try it and I was so excited when Jamie sent it to me it is the uh, sa soft satin lip cover in nude beige and it's just a good old <laughs> old school Lisa color and I'll put it right here and I think I have a picture of me wearing this too that I will try to put right here And I put it on with, she sent me some lip liners to try. Okay, this is the Nude Beige Lip Liner, number one. And I will put that. You would think that it wouldn't be enough, but it really is. The lip liner, really, if you get the lipstick, I would say get the lip liner to go with it. Because that really made the combo beautiful. And you can see I have used that a lot lately. I've used it with several of them. 
and then this lip liner is rosewood and I have seen I think Tara baby uses this one a lot and you could use this one with that nude beige also to give you a totally different look and then you could use this one rosewood with all of those sheer ones so this would probably be your most neutral of all the lip liners okay and then the one i used today is brick red number is it five yeah number five and so i'm going to just put it right beside the lipstick that i have on right there so you can see it kind of goes with it perfectly and i started out with the lip liner I applied the lipstick and then I tried to just perfect it a little bit with the red again. And I'm not an experienced red lipstick wearer, so I'm sure I probably didn't do as good a job as I could have or somebody else could have done. Okay, this is the Bright Plum number four. And I was excited to get this one because I know this is one. Let's see, I'm going to put it right beside that fuchsia. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. That will go perfect with that lipstick. That is beautiful so you can see what an array of colors that's the gloss the first one and then we go to the sheer lip mist and then that's the natural and all the liners so thank you so much Jamie for sending me all this stuff to try and share with you guys I am in love I have been so excited over all this Burberry makeup I'm excited to show you about are from Dior I went to see Selena my friend at Dior on let's see Tuesday and so many of you have asked me about the new Dior Air foundation and so I had talked to her on the phone and asked her about it and she said yes that it was in because last time I was there it wasn't in and see there the my Dior is in the mall which is about 30 minutes away so I don't just stop by there like I do Ulta and other other places like that so I went there the other day and got the whole shebang I got the nude air the foundation 30. was the match for me if I were to do 40 I probably could I could probably could mix some I probably could do 40 but then I wouldn't have the opportunity to do other things like contour and stuff like that in bronze as much it would just be you know my skin would be the same color and I don't like that as much and now that my chest is going to be an issue with getting it the right color I don't want you know what I mean <laughs> so I am loving this I have worn it this is the third day that I've had it on and it is gorgeous it is so much better than I thought it would be because I just don't have much hope anymore for foundations that start out like this it's in a little dropper thing and I'm sure you've seen it but it is just watery I mean look at it and so normally these mean cakey and dry to me that is what i usually think of but let me i've got my thing here but let me show you it and the coverage is amazing it just rubs right in it ends up being not powdery really it's weird but look how pretty that is it ends up being very natural, I would say. I'm looking in the mirror just to see. Because I've had it on now probably about an hour. And of course, I have I got to do it my way. way. Loose and pressed. And I got it in the 30 and the 40. Because I will do different things with different ones. First of all, I think you get more coverage. When I want more coverage, I think you get more coverage when you use the loose powder. Now, when you use the, and I think you get more glow. With the pressed powder, I think you get a more of a natural finish and more of a natural, you know, look. Not as glowy. And the 30, I wasn't sure if I was going to want 30 or 40. And um, I have not yet tried this like I have with the Laura Mercier, you know, where I don't use any liquid. I just use this, but I'm going to. I just haven't had it long enough. And these containers, oh my gosh, they are just gorgeous. So yesterday I tried the Loose 40 all over on top of this, like to set it. And actually the picture that I put in the Burberry lipsticks with the Feather Pink, 
that was yesterday and so you can see that it's a much darker look but it's still really pretty so on days that I want more of that look it's more of a casual type look but today I wanted to try the 30 which matches the foundation but I think it's a little bit darker it's either a little bit darker or when I put it on it emphasized my you know the bone structure and gave me some definition so I did that right with my Sephora 55 brush right after my foundation then I went in with the let's see here the nude air 40 okay that's not it with the nude air 40 and I did that's not it either is it it is goodness gracious this almost looks just like the um not that one the nude air 40 is not much lighter than the bronzer I didn't even realize that so this is the 40 and then this is the bronzer yeah there's a big difference okay I went in with this first and did around the perimeter of my face and then I went in with the bronzer and did the bronzer and so that's what I have on today. And then I did a little bit of that Burberry highlighter on my cheeks. So you have to let me know what you think. It's definitely, I think, let me zoom in a little bit. Definitely a kind of, I don't know, more of a, that's as far as I can go. I'll even get closer. So you can see it leaves, I love that it leaves like the texture of your skin. It's not as glowy and makeup looking as the Laura Mercier, I don't think. And it's just more of a, I don't know. I don't know, you have to tell me what you think. And then here's the lipstick up, up close too. And, and that's the liner. And then the eyeshadow is that Burberry Cocoa Quad. I can't remember what it's called right now, but the brown quad that I've shown you, I did in the tutorial. Okay. So, so far I am loving these and then I picked up two things too. I have been wanting to try this, which is the Lash Maximizer. I have had the samples of this and I have used this twice now. I used it yesterday and today. The samples aren't the same as the full size. I think you get more product when you're using this one than that sample because I remember using the sample thinking, it didn't do that much, but this puts on a lot more. It's Lash Plumping Serum. So I thought I would give this another shot. I saw Candy Johnson using this in one of her tutorials, and I figured, you know, I'm gonna give that another shot because if she's using it, you know, it must be good. And I almost went without lashes today, but I just couldn't help myself. I put them on anyway, but this really does help. So, and then this is the new Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm. This was there last time I was at the counter and I was not drawn to it because I thought it was too orangey color. Well, Shannon was there the other day and she said, don't you, you know, don't you have this? And I said, no. I said, I don't really like the other one too much. And she said, well, the other one, if you have really pigmented lips, it can turn kind of a purpley color on you. And I said, yeah, it does. And she said, this one's better. And so I put it on and it is just so pretty. And that doesn't, she said, instead of saying she, it worked with your body temperature or something like that, she said it works with the humidity or the moisture of your lips. And that's what turns it different colors on different people. And see, like today, it's not turning the same colors it did the other day. The other day, it was a real pretty peachy pink color. So, let's see, if I can find the picture of when I left the Dior counter, I think I've got a picture with this on. I will put it right here. and that's it and here's all the brushes I cannot ever bear to throw these brushes away I figure I'll use them for something one day but love you guys know I love like the Dior powders and stuff and I'm really impressed with this so if you've tried this let me know what you think I know Effie was asking me what I thought and I really like it I'm surprised. I'm really surprised. I placed an order this week with Forever 21. My friend Elizabeth called my attention to a jacket that I wanted to order. And then I ordered these too. So I'm going to go ahead and show you these. I ordered all three colors. They had them in gray, 
the white and the black and I'll show you the gray that's my favorite but they are five dollars and ninety cent they're in the sleepwear PG, PJ department this is the gray I got the small medium but they're little boy shorts and I got them to wear under maxi dresses or short dresses or anything like that that I wanted a little bit of something else and a lot of the you know little briefs and boy shorts aren't this long and I haven't tried these on yet if I don't like them I will just wear them to sleep in or something like that I mean for five dollars I'll get some use out of them because I love sleeping in stuff like this and a tank top in the summer and I just thought they were so cute so you know right up under like those little forever 21 dresses that are flowy and kind of short this would be perfect much better you can't really wear a slip with those and this is much better than a pair of thongs and even the i do love the hanky panky boy shorts but they're just basically like a hipster they're not like this and then of course the black so i will let you know after i try a pair of these how that goes and then i'm going to go ahead and show you this I bought this yesterday at Oliver. I went to see, they had gotten a lot of new, um, she texted me, they had gotten some new LNA and they got some new uh, James Purse and I think Sundry, they had got some new t-shirts in. They got a bunch of new like t-shirts and tanks in. And I bought a t-shirt that I'm gonna show you or a tank and we were discussing, you know, what bra, what do you wear under it? And we were talking about, you know, all the bras that are popular now are the little bralettes that actually are meant to show. And most of those I cannot wear because if you're over a B, you can't wear those. You know, they just don't look the same. They don't look good on you. And then they showed me this one. And it's by Obey, which is the same brand as mine. It's kind of like a surf type brand, I guess. And this one looked like something I could probably wear. It's got the little straps up top and so they will kind of peek out of a lot of the tank tops that I would wear and then this is the back it's really pretty and of course if I can't wear it Brooke can but and I got the medium it was $29 which really is not that much for a bra or a nice bralette or something it's called the nightshade bralette black medium and the reason I don't get a large is because I'm not large through here or around my rib cage. So I've tried that with bathing suits and, you know, um, any of those little bralettes. They don't fit me because they'll end up being too big around. And like if I get a bathing suit in a large, unless it has the sliding triangle tops, it um, will be too big and the cups will be too far apart and they'll barely cover. So I got the medium is what I will probably wear so I love that okay so I'm going to stand up and show you the rest of the stuff I've got and my outfit my of the day, of the so day right yet another blazer this is actually one that I got from my friend Teresa who shops a lot of the she lives in Texas and she is really good at shopping those um, consignment shop sales and where all the women bring their stuff and this blazer is actually Gucci and I love it and I love that it's a little bit longer for this look today and then the um little cami i have on under it is one i bought at forever 21 a while ago this is the first time i've worn it and then these jeans are i think they're seven jeans and they're ones that i i think they had little rips and then i helped them along a little bit um to make them a little bit more ripped and And then the shoes I have on are just my black regular leather BB Manolo Blahnik BB. Cloth. This is the jacket that I bought at Forever 21. My friend Elizabeth saw it on Instagram and it was actually on, most of you guys probably follow her, it's up close and stylish. She had this on and it is the prettiest little soft lightweight trench coat. It, when I got it, it was really wrinkled but I just hit it with that wrinkle releaser and it really helped it and um, it's a real you know nice flowy fabric and I got the size medium and it was $37.90 so I just thought that would be great just to throw on on days like today or just whenever I want to whenever I want to play with that look you know that's 
that's what fashion is to me. I love just, you know, recreating looks or one day I just decide I want to wear one. That's what it'll be for. Okay. This perfect. is what I got at Oliver. Like my typical thing, white t-shirt. This is from LNA. It's the small. And what I loved about this was the bottom hemline. I got this to wear with my faux leather mini skirt. And I just love the way that does. And it's not really, I mean, it is kind of high-low, but it doesn't really look like that on. And I like that it just goes kind of straight down. And I just thought it would be perfect to wear with that and some heels. Or you could even wear it with, you could wear it with anything. But I bought it particularly to wear with that skirt. So I will do that soon. And then this is another LNA. I've just been into LNA lately. This is the tank that I bought the bralette to go under and um, so that will show and it you know it, it's meant to be so it won't be any big deal and really I bought this to go under blazers anyway or a little like my leather jacket or something like that as kind of like a cami it's so pretty it's got the little delicate little strap and you guys know I like this design where it cuts up I just think it's very flattering and this would also look good with any jeans, like flare jeans, it would look really good with flare jeans. High-waisted jeans, it would look good with palazzo pants. It, I just feel like this will be a key piece. Both of these, I feel like, will go with so many This is the last things. thing. Okay, so the big bag saga. <laughs> That's kind of a pun. I loved that bag, but I told you that I sent it back because it was just, I felt like it was just too big. But I can honestly say, if your lifestyle is you need a big bag, it wasn't like it was so big, you know, that you couldn't have used it. Just for me, it was too big. So, I sent it back, and I ended up getting the exact same bag in the next size down. And I have to say, it's perfection. It is just, it's the same color, the same leather, everything. And I just realized I haven't taken these little things off the bottom yet. I need to do that. That's This is commitment right here. <laughs> but um, I used it yesterday. And I, at first, I thought I might want the lighter color, but then I was scared that if I got the lighter color that it would keep me from using it or, you know, it would get dirty or, you know, I was just scared I would be concerned about it. So I stuck with this color which is the, oh gosh, what, Dune is the nude color, and this size is the micro, and it's just perfect. I'll stand up with it again. I was just going to show it to you, and I've already got my stuff in it. Oh, I'm dropping all the paperwork, but I even used this thing. Last night at the grocery store, I put my Roberto Cavalli glasses in there, and it was awesome. And um, so you can see my stuff fits in there just But what I'm going to really try to do, I did it for a while and I loved it. And then I kind of got out of it. I really want to change my bags for my outfit. And that might mean using the same bag for three days or whatever. But I want to use the bag that looks best with what I'm wearing. And so I think the best thing to do is to not fill your pockets with a bunch of stuff. Like I'm real bad about putting like in that backpack. I had all my lip glosses and stuff in the back pocket, and it worked out so well. But that keeps you from switching, because you think to yourself, oh God, I don't have time to switch all that stuff. But what I'm gonna try to do in like this one is, you know, I'm still using this as my wallet, and this is actually, you know, this that wallet on chain. wallet, which is like a purse, like a wallet on chain. It fits, it even fits in my new Chanel bag too, which is awesome. But that's what made me kind of think I would rather have a smaller one because it, it does take up a lot of that one. So anyway, I've got this in here. And then I've got, um, I've always got a Victoria's Secret coupon and I need to go. But and I then I have this. Like I think some one of my subscribers sent me this a long time ago. You can see it's getting beat up with uh, bare minerals. But in here I have like um, band-aids. Um, a little pair of scissors, you know, dental floss, things that I need and the whole family I am needs. using the Burberry for my lip products. And then the only other thing I have in here and is mint. So, everything just fits in there just like it should. It's just the perfect, perfect size. 
and I'm gonna stand up and let you see me so I just holding think it. That's so much better for me. I do think the other one looks just as good, but I think for me and what I'm gonna use it for, this is perfect. And it's just, you know, when I sat it in the seat beside me, it was perfect to work out of, and it has the zipper, and um, I'm just, I'm really, really excited about it. And I'm so glad that I had help deciding to go with my instincts and send the other one back. So, and I was gonna show you that even the paper that came, and I got it from Safu. You guys probably knew that, and I'll put his and, number down um, below. So he had sent me pictures of all the, John really likes the tri-color, like all the really fancy ones, and I do too, but I felt like, I felt like this bag and the Chanel bag are gonna be my serious investment type bags, and I felt like I should get, you know, more neutral colors. Now, I will say that I am on a handbag kick, and now I have my eye on a few fun ones that aren't quite as expensive. And um, it, those I will probably get some brighter colors or, you know, like the Balenciagas are always fun to get in different colors. And then it colors. just comes with a big dust bag. It looks like something's in here. Oh, okay. And this is sealed. I'm not even going to open it. I'm just going to keep it in there. Um, Saks Fifth Avenue, Peachtree Road, Atlanta, Georgia. Georgia. Here he is. I was looking for and this. Then, and this must just be the regular receipt. Yes. Okay, this is in case I wanted to return it. So I'll keep that in there too, I guess. I usually just keep all the paperwork with my bags just in case I decide to sell them. And then sometimes it's just nice to have it to look and see. But like I said, that was the Dune color and it is the micro. The one that's bigger is the so mini. I think that is it. Okay, um, accessories. The nail polish I have on is the Burberry. I love this. It's the English Rose that comes in that gift with purchase. I hope a lot of you have already gotten it. And I will put Jamie's um, number at the Burberry counter um, down below because she is still doing the gift with purchase. If you spend $150, like if you like any of those lipsticks and the blushes, if you spend $150, you get the trench bag and a nail polish and a lip gloss and they're full size and the ring I love is it. the Sheila Fajal ring that I got that looks like hers and I asked her did she have any more she says she has more on the way from Brazil but um, she has to make sure when they get here she has to kind of do quality control and make sure that the stones like she likes it and everything before she could promise me any so I may get some more of those but I love it because it's and adjustable the and earrings I waited to put my earrings on on purpose. Jane, with must have, must get, has noticed how much I'm wearing the other earrings that she sent me, the little simple bar earrings. So she sent me these. And I thought to myself, I'm gonna wait and just put these on when I do my video. But look at these. They're the little bars, but they are rhinestone. So that is what I'm going to wear today. I'm gonna put these on I either like, I guess it's like handbags. You know, sometimes you get into the phase where you want a little bitty handbag and you want to find the smallest wallet and you want to carry, you know, this littlest amount of stuff, you know. And then you get to the point where you want a big bag and you're throwing all kinds of stuff in there. I guess that's how I am with um, earrings. I either like great big ones or I like these little ones. And it depends on what other jewelry and stuff you have on. I feel like these red lips are going to handle okay, most everything that. today. So thank you so much, Shane. I appreciate that. And, um, oh, my necklace. I love this necklace, and I do not wear it enough. And I just sold one. I just shipped it out. I will be shipping it out today, so I put mine on today. It is the Sheila Fajal Spike necklace, and it's adjustable. I probably should do it a little bit shorter, but um, I wanted it to kind of hang long. And um, it's the gold, and I have gold and silver. So, I think that is finally it. So, I hope you guys have a great weekend, and you know I will be back. I'll probably do some outfits of the day, especially if I wear those tanks or some other stuff. And um, So, I will see you this weekend, if nothing else, with an outfit of the day. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.